What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awakened in my new account, Rift Mode Playthrough. Now next up we've got the Demon Lord and oh I am worried about the Demon Lord. Uh, I did a little extra preparation. I went back and ran Lava Mines, the last map, two more times in hopes of finding a better weapon, but I never found one, sadly. Now, this is the weapon I got off that first Lava Mines run I did. Uh, I was, I had enough gold to go 15 of 18 upgrades into it, so I did make it a little bit stronger. Of course, when you're upgrading this, you just go full range damage, and then every time you get the opportunity, put a point into rate uh, to get down to the the fire rate cap. Uh, don't worry about anything else. It is a fusion weapon, but this particular weapon is best upgraded into range damage, and then that range damage, of course, gets converted automatically into a fusion damage. So put all your points into the range damage. So you get the attack stat as a scaler as well, which I probably don't even have any of. Actually, I've got four attack. So yeah, we got a little baby scaler in there. Now I am going to be going heavy protons. I'm going to play play the proton or the EV actively to get that builder bonus on top of it, and I'm just planning on getting face rolled. So I'm going to prepare in advance, and I kind of overthought the map a little bit. Uh, let's jump on into it, and I'll show you what I've got in mind. So first things first, let's get it all built out. Now, I showed my EV here. I did take everything except for 10 points, and I put it directly into power. Uh, the proton beam does not scale very well with rate, even super early games, so everything right into power. I did put 10 points into vitality just to give myself a little bit more health. That's not much, but it is just a tiny bit, so I'll take it. Now... It's so weird. My weapon has converted from a minigun to an entirely different fire rate for being in the map. Let me see. That is a strange one, because that is the correct shot of that weapon. But if I switch to the minigun, it's not giving me the same rate. That is so, so strange. I'm going to restart real quick and load right back into the map. All right, well, that wasn't too challenging to figure out. If anyone has that issue, just unequip and then re-equip the weapon, and then it goes back to normal. So I've got my minigun back. I actually restarted the game a few times, wondering exactly what the heck was going on. But if anyone's having any weird uh, weapon effects like that, just unequip and then re-equip your weapon. So moving right along, we have got 280 DU to start with. Now, I'm going to do a little kind of experiment here. I'm going to take a full 5DU proton beam and put one on each direction in the spawn. Now, this isn't the experiment part, obviously. This is a pretty uh, standard, straightforward, throw it up in their face uh, strat. But I'm going to try to set... Here's my worry. In Rift Mode, the bosses hit way, way hard. So even though I've got points into Vitality, not having enough gold to upgrade my armor, I'm very worried about my survivability. So with that in mind, I'm going to build as if I'm going to die. I know, that sounds terrible, but that's what I'm going to do. And we'll get into that here in just a moment. So let's see, what is it going to be stair to stair? Second step. No, it's going to be the third step. So on the third step, we're going to go stair to stair with uh, two proton beams here. Put those uh, just like that. I got them slightly towards the rift side of the lane, just uh, as the enemies are going to turn right there. I've only got 40 DU left. I think this is going to get me through the first wave, so I'm just going to start it up and let it fly here. Uh, I'm optimistic. I'm hoping. So here are my two hopes. I'm hoping that I can decoy the Demon Lord into some proton beams I'm going to set up here. Now, additionally, I'm going to put a very small little wall right there as well. Now here's why. 
Now, the Demon Lord, anyone that's done the Demon Lord six million times, like I know a lot of people out there have, including myself, farming for pets, uh, you know that if the Demon Lord has no targets, he just stands still. He's not going to go after the core. So if your lanes can hold and the Demon Lord has no targets, he's just going to park. Now, the, the challenge is, can you park him somewhere where he's taking damage from your defenses if you die? Because that just seems ridiculously OP. And, you know, I'm very worried about staying alive through this. All right, let's get some auras down as well here. Now, on the auras, I'm not sure if I went into them earlier. We are uh, very heavy into range. I made sure to get up to 50 range on the auras before I started stacking elsewhere. Uh, the reason is, is the first points in range on any, really, any defense that's affected by range are super, super powerful. The first 25 points are actually give you the same amount of gain as the second 75 points. So 25 points into a stat uh, is halfway to the point of where 100 points into that stat are. It just shows you how the early points are super important. Now, um, the auras aren't affected quite that drastically. That was a flame burst example there. But I did get up to 50 points into range and then started dumping into power. So I do have a few points in fort as I don't want uh, my auras just to burn. However, we are going to slow them. And we are going to use an electric aura as well. I think at every lane we're going to do the same thing. Let's, uh, let's see, let's slow them. And let's use an electric aura. And then over here, I want to do the same thing, but I'm going to put them a little bit to the right. And the reason I'm going to put them a little to the right is here I want to use a buff beam as we have buff beams unlocked now. So that'll get a little bit more power on this area and make it so this area is actually kind of trivial. It's just going to get wrecked. Um, and then, uh, well, we need more more mana. So let's go ahead and burn through one more wave here. Uh, we'll just let it fly. And this should just be a burner wave as well where we just chomp right through it. All right, now let's see, what else can we do? So we know when, we know, first off, we've got no walls. So let's uh, realize that for a moment. So if a kobold gets through, it's all over. But we also have no backup if just a goblin gets through and I don't notice it to shoot it. So I do want to put a little last resort in here, but I want to double dip on the last resort and make it so that it is also doing damage to the boss. And we know this is where the boss spawns. So I'm gonna get a proton that starts in the midway point of each of those lanes and cross them over where the boss spawns. Now, additionally, if you come up top here, the boss is gonna come right to this center area. So let's do another set of protons here. I'm gonna start them up on that pipe. I'm gonna lap them over here so that they cross over into this lane for some last resort protection. And then we're gonna do it like this over into this lane for some last resort protection. Now we've got seven DU left, that's not much. So I'm gonna throw one electric aura right here. And here comes the trappy part, overthinking it. I got two DU, well what can you do with two DU? Well, once again, if the Demon Lord has no target left to kill, it will stand where it is. So I'm going to put a little tiny T 2 du wall right here in hopes that the Demon Lord goes to that as its last target. And hopefully this is where it stops in case I'm dead. So, I mean, building for your own demise is not the smartest thing. But sometimes it just might work out better that way. So that is what I'm doing. I'm going to try uh, some big big brain builds here because I know this fight is going to be very, very difficult. And I, I just know even putting those points into vitality, I think if I get hit by any single one, any attack from the Demon Lord, I'm pretty sure he's going to one-shot me. So, I mean, it's kind of a sucky thing to think about, but on the same note, I think that may be the way to go. So, 
I want to see. Now, I don't want to die. So, if I can stay alive, I'm going to stay alive. But, one thing for sure, I won't have the mobility. Now, I'm also going to bring the Demon Lord to this area, if possible. So, as soon as the Demon Lord spawns, I'm going to start off up here on the furnace. And then I'm going to jump down here and drop a decoy right here. Hoping that it brings the Demon Lord right over to that spot. Uh, that would be the most ideal thing. Now I have to be careful with the timing on it too. Because if I drop it when he's up in the air, he's just going to shoot fireballs at it. So ideally I want to drop it when he's either about to come down or on the ground. This is going to be a little sketchy. That much I know for sure. Now, I'm also just, although I do have an upgraded weapon now, the amount of damage output I do to the Demon Lord is not going to be impressive by any means. Um, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to get at it. But it's not going to be much. I know people are going to ask about the laser beam. The laser beam has terrible scaling and actually does less overall DPS than me just shooting. Uh, so the laser beam is not going to be the way to go. No proton charge. So let's get an upgrade. Crap, man. I screwed up and upgraded that ensnare twice. Um, let's get one upgrade on everything. Uh, hopefully, you won't upgrade your ensnare twice. Actually, you don't even need to upgrade the ensnare, to be honest. You can just repair it. But I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade it anyway, just to keep everything even. Uh, we got in one upgrade. Actually, I'm not going to be able to get everything here, huh? Here, let's make sure we get... Uh, Let's get the buff beam, and then since these protons are so low, let's upgrade those as well. That only leaves me 20 DU left. Well, let's uh, repair what we can repair. We can actually get both the repairs off. Nice. And let's collect up one more wave of, of mana. Now, this next wave of mana, I think I'm going to dump all into these proton beams. I do believe that will be the way to go. Little Rift Kobolds there, man. They are they're tough for this state in the game. They got some health. They are some tanky little mofos, no doubt. Fourteen hundred health. I guess that's not that much. It's barely more than a regular goblin, but it sure does feel like more when you're trying to kill one. <laughs> Can we do it? I mean, if I can get past this map, I think getting through all of Act 2 will be relatively smooth, I believe. Uh, by the time I get to Throne Room, I'll have uh, slightly better stats on everything, and I'll be able to, to get some DSTs or some Flame Bursts into the mix as well, which will be very, very nice. Uh, right now, just like I looked at the DSTs, the DSTs are an obvious choice. Uh, particularly on this fight, uh, you can use them to your benefit greatly, but my DSTs are only firing once every four seconds right now with the stats that I have. So, very, very sketch on the Apprentice Tower action right at the moment. Now, on non-rift mode, just regular old Flame Burst Towers, just wreck non-rift mode. You could do a setup similar to this, and uh, like instead of having two protons, have a flame burst instead at the end of a lane. It's going to just devastate. But in rift mode, just not so much. Alright, let's see. We got levels. I feel silly not using them. I think I'm going to go. Uh, right into power on that one let's see let's go right into power on uh, the monk R's as well and then let's see what else we can do ah oh, crap I did it again I upgraded that stupid ensnare R to the roof Derp. can we get another upgrade in over here doesn't look like it let's just do actually let's upgrade the electric
All of my ensnares are beastly. <laughs> I wanted to spend all that mana in here, and I went and dumped it into the ensnare. You know what? Let's go with the electric, as I think there's a greater chance of it hitting the Demon Lord than really probably anything else. Because the proton beams are weird uh, with the bosses. The bosses have to be right on them, you know? So, like, if the Demon Lord stopped right here, the protons wouldn't hit it, but the aura, of course, would. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Wave five. Does this uh, does this silliness work, or is it not going to work? Actually, you know what? Let's throw an upgrade on that wall. A couple of upgrades on it, just to get it a little bit tougher in case that flame does hit it. It's probably still going to one shot it. And then I'm going to make sure I reload as well. Now, another deal here is shooting the crystals here on the Demon Lord is so, so beneficial. But at this state in the game, they've got 5,000 HP, which takes just a long time for me to get through. So I'm not going to mess with those. Um, I think it would take me 20 seconds just to, just to kill all four crystals. I mean, maybe even longer than that. And I don't think I'm going to live that long. <laughs> So I want to just uh, really focus on getting into the boss. So here we go. Fingers crossed. Let's get it. Get some shots in. Here comes the fire. Okay, we got our decoy out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I am one shot. He's going to smack the wall down. Did we get him in the sweet spot? Oh, we did. We did. We got two protons and the aura doing damage. I mean, he's burning super, super slow. And boy, talk about overthinking it. And it actually worked out that way. But I couldn't have died in a better spot. <laughs> I guess if he was in a little closer, it would have been better. But yeah, we got us a Demon Lord win. First try here, y'all. Overthought and extremely cheesy. But, you know, I don't know if I could have stayed alive long enough to kill him, to be honest with you. I think the best bet may be towers at this state or uh, manipulating the Demon Lord. But we got us a win. Good stuff. Let's loot the chest on the Huntress. And get us a new rift weapon. Oh my gosh, it's still a gray one. Even from the Demon Lord, I can't get a decent rift le weapon. For crying out loud. I do have a uh, very nice purple accessory for this state in the game, though. That is for sure. And a little Gobu mask. Nothing wrong with that. Anyway, y'all, that will do it for this episode. Thanks again. I'll see you all next time.